On Sunday evening, Laura Toasty came home. We feel very blessed for what, you know, what we have. She evacuated with her family and their animals Saturday as the corral fire came dangerously close to her Bernard Drive home. The call got out to my ag friends and family. I didn't have to make phone calls. They were all here with trailers and trucks ready to get our livestock. Cal Fire says as of Sunday, the corral fire had burned thousands of acres in San Joaquin County. We had such strong winds and this grass fire was able to spread to more than 14,000 acres essentially in a day. The scorched land visible as crews continued to work towards full containment. Officials were able to downgrade the evacuation orders to warnings. The San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office and the Office of Emergency Services here in San Joaquin County did an outstanding job getting the word out quickly and evacuating people early. Unfortunately, one house was lost. Reflecting back, Toasty says conditions Saturday made evacuating challenging. We finally got to the point where the fire trucks had put enough of the flame out that we were trying to get through and the flame was actually lapping up on the side of the trailers and on the side of my car. And um, the fireman asked, told me just to follow him through. He took three steps and he disappeared. We didn't see him. So they rearranged the trucks so we could see the lights at the top of the truck to drive out. A day later, she is home and so grateful to be cannot say enough about the firefighters and you know all the the public people that were in here helping everybody's putting their life on hold for for us to save us so we're home and she was so relieved to be home. Fire crews are going to be out here overnight working to strengthen their control lines, patrolling, looking for any smoke that might pop up and mopping up. In San Joaquin County, Leanne Denier, KCRA 3 News. Leanne, thank you so much for your work there on the ground. And we have an update tonight on the